Hi bunnies, welcome to another slideshow presentation pretty much. Uh, a photo album of Thumper and Gee over here. As you can see before, there was a video of Thumper in a hotel room. Gee and I, well Gee, Thumper and I have been through a lot. And um, their father's name is Jayesh. And Jayesh loves them very much. And they love Jayesh very much too. And so, yeah. And this is Gee with her flowers. And she loves to just flop in high places. It makes her feel very royal. As you can see here, uh, it's her thing. And then Thumper loves to just eat a bunch of flowers. Um, he loves his bundles of flowers. Gee, again, being very royal. And flopped very cutely. She likes to have a ledge, um, preferably on either side while she's flopped. Here she is being a beautiful Bunny Del Rey with her little flower headband. There's her beautiful big paw. I love her so much with those floppy ears. My goodness, have you ever seen a bunny this cute? Maybe you have, but she's my daughter, so I'm always going to be extra obsessed with her. I mean, look at those little paticas. Like, I can't. There they are flopped. You know, their bond was not always broken. They used to get along, but at the expense of, you know, mounting each other and being very territorial, but they would have these moments of peace, Thumper and Gee. And sometimes you'll see videos of them like that. And every now and then I get a comment like, why don't you try bonding them again? But I just don't want to risk the bloodshed I've seen um, twice, thrice, really. Look at those two paws. Like their little paw, when both of their paws were out and they would be sitting next to each other. Oh my gosh. It would melt me, okay? Melt me. But I gotta do what's best for them. So as cute as they look together, um, yeah, their safety is more important. Trust me, it, it pains me to see this as much as you. Look at her yawning. They used to be very, very good with each other, but in a split second, they would also fight. And that's the thing about... That's the, the thing about social media, people only post the good moments, but there's so much behind the scenes. And that's not to say, oh, they're not sharing their whole entire life. Well, you really don't need to. You know, when it comes to social media, you don't have to post everything. Um, there are a lot of monitoring spirits out there, especially when you have a bunny as cute as this. Um, people with, you know, questions, and questions are fair, but um, it's fair for people to have questions, but also you don't have to answer every question because your privacy is very important, right? So, yeah, but um, there they are, flopped again. I have so many photos of them like that. I was very obsessed with that, um, with that period of time. And there I am feeding Guy, and there's Thumper in his little hut. He loves hiding inside a hut. They, both of them love being protected on either side, kind of pushed in. Um, securely. They love their rugs and Guy loves her kisses and there's Thumper ready to cuddle. Um, that's me with Guy. Yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this little presentation. I put all their photos together because there are just so many. If you're still here, it's, you know, three seconds, three minutes and 20 seconds in now. So yeah, thanks for sticking around. And I think, let's see. There was one photo coming up. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's not on the screen yet. There it is. Look how Guy is sticking her tongue out here. It's so cute. Also, bunnies love their wine as well. Just kidding. Don't feed wine to your bunny. Uh, <laughs> those were bubbles from a wedding uh, we attended. Okay, so there's Guy with her crown. There's Thumper. Look at those little paws, man. And those little faces. I can't. <sighs> yeah. Our bunnies are very comfortable, um, you know, they are very well fed, spoiled, loved. I wish that Thumper would get as much free roaming time as Gee does, she's kind of taken control of the house, um, but I do my best to make sure that while she's sleeping, he's roaming, because he's just as royal and important as she is. <laughs> And then there they are. Oh my gosh, dare I say they're holding paws, holding hands. I remember I was melting at that point. And yeah, accessories look so cute on Guy and Thumper. Guy is like her mama. She loves her bandanas. She loves her crowns. And then there is Thumper snuggling by the ledge of the tall high chair. And there's Guy with a rug on one side, wall on the other. They just love being cuddled up. And there's Guy owning the stairs, Thumper owning his royal chair, 
and Thumper owning that coffee table. I love those cheeks and that little butt. And there he is looking like Bunny Alfalfa. Bun Falfa. There's Gee grooming Thumper. That was the sweetest thing to see when they would groom each other. <sighs> Make sure if you have bunnies that they have a tunnel. Bunnies love tunnels. Bunnies love shade, hiding under huts and stuff of that nature, stuff they can hop on and off of, rugs. Always make sure that walls behind, you see behind her, walls are protected. Things they can, um, you know, chew and destroy that you don't mind cleaning up. Get ready because when you have bunnies, it's like a 10 plus year commitment, you know? So you have to be ready to be with them for over a decade, which is fine by me, but it's a huge portion, a huge chunk of your life. I'm in the situation where it's okay, you know? I'm no contact basically with the whole world, so I can have bunnies and it's a special blessing that God put in my life. So I love my bunnies and my bunnies love me. There is Guy wearing the curtain, magnetic curtain close and opener, closer and opener. Yep, and there they are flopped. This is where we had to separate them. See, they had to be separated. Sometimes they would fight. See, that's what you do not see. They look cute and cuddly, but oh my, can these bunnies, blah, blah, blah. My, can these bunnies fight? Um, as cute as they look, they are fighters. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen a video of fighting hares, fighting rabbits, but they do not play around. This is what a natural bunny habitat should look like, but the balcony should be covered. So that's perfect, minus we didn't have it covered, so obviously, you know, that didn't last very long. Um, not that it didn't last very long, but this setup outside, like that setup is still outside, but um, you know, they don't sleep out there because that's very dangerous as they're little prey animals. So with all the predators in the sky, you know, or they can slither in, you know, you never know. Um, gotta keep those bunnies inside our domestic babies. It's very important to take care of them and let them rest freely, comfortably, safely. Look at those little things. Would you ever want to harm something like that? I don't think so. Oh, there's a bunny I was feeding at an animal sanctuary that's local to me. And I don't like how they let them free roam, but that's another story. At least they're helping animals. Um, here's, so Guy is a big fan of mangoes. Obviously I have to ration out those portions of fruit as one of you did point out to me. Thank you for that. Sometimes I get a little carried away giving them sweets because it's hard to say no to that cute little baby. As you can see, I'm very obsessed with her. This was the night before her spay. There's Thumper again. Let me tell you, spaying Guy was really heartbreaking for me. Comment below if you've made it this far. There she is again. Comment below if you'd like me to talk about my feelings um, on spaying and neutering her and Thumper. Obviously, I know that's necessary, you know, as I don't have farmland or anything. Um, but did it feel right? No, I'm gonna be honest. It felt like I was modifying God, God's creation, Yah's creation in a way that was very, I don't know, disrespectful of how he made them. I, I just felt like I was, you know, just altering something perfect unnecessarily. If I could do it again, I don't, I don't know that I would do that to them, to be very honest with you, but that's another video. I think that's like a long form video outside of this one for another day. Again, you'd have to comment below though. Do you want to hear it? Maybe you don't care. Most of you in the bunny community think, oh, no question about it. You have to spay and neuter them. And let me tell you that that little video where she was hopping, she was not spayed yet. I noticed she was a wee bit happier before she got spayed, but I digress. She did keep a lot of her personality. Most of it like stayed intact, but you know, her, her sweet little area didn't stay intact. Again, Maybe I'm oversharing for this video, but that is a topic I definitely want to cover, getting them fixed. I don't think there was anything to fix about them. I think their nature is perfect, and they were um, fearfully and wonderfully made. So, but I digress. Here's Gi with a cute, cute hat on. <sighs> Looking like a sweet little bunny dictator. Then, little bunny, house on the prairie bunny. I don't want to say Santera bunny, but <laughs> let's say Puritan bunny. <laughs> yeah. My sweet, sweet Gia lover so much. And my beautiful, beautiful Thumper. There she is eating her romaine lettuce. There's Thumper just chilling on the balcony. They are always supervised when they're out on the balcony, I'll tell you that. Moonlight or sunlight, I'm with them. And there 
Here's Key with a little bit of beet juice on her cheeks. Sometimes I use the Benefit Rose Water Stain because it's pretty natural, it doesn't do anything to them. And as someone who worked as an arch expert, brow arch expert at Benefit, how am I not going to share that with you? <laughs> and, and yeah, so, okay. And they mainly don't test on animals, I, except I think in China, don't, don't quote me, um, Benefit, so yeah. This is when I was moving. I've moved a lot. Uh, Guy has been through it with me, but we always make do wherever we go. Let's not forget we're in a housing crisis. And YouTubers might not mention it, but I...